super overexposed. Hold on. All right, what is going on, guys? Uh, welcome to the video. Alexa is tickling my feet as I speak. <sighs> well, <laughs> I feel like every video I'm coming clean about something. Um, no, you just keep going out every weekend and drinking and it's like taking a toll on my body. That's where I'm starting out today. It is 1.30, my Apple Watch actually is literally about to die and we've been stuck on the couch. But I'm starting the video to make myself more productive and to show you guys exactly what I'm gonna be picking up today from Costco because I wanna go on a little like mini pre-holiday season cut and Costco is the perfect place to get some stuff for that. Uh, I am currently trying to convince Alexa to go with me to Costco. I don't think so. Why? I look like a hunchback. Yeah, a hunchback. Oh, wait, you hear that? It's the comment section. They're saying, Alexa, you better go to Costco. It's dumb. No, um, seriously though, speaking of comment section, drop a comment down below uh, some stuff that you pick up at Costco whenever you go and drop a video a thumbs up for me because it does help the channel grow helps the video get out to more people, and for that, I appreciate you. Time for me to finally get off the couch and get my day started. Let's go to Costco. Okay, so along with Costco having really cheap, good value food, they also have really cheap, good value gas. Uh, as you can tell, because there's a ton of people here. On average, I think there's, there's like 30% cheaper or something like that, and you get the high quality, good gas, so. It's a must, and I am at a whopping 47 miles till empty. We got Alexa to come with us. She is uh, less than thrilled about it, but she's here. I wanna show you guys exactly what I picked up at Costco today um, to start my somewhat of a lean cut I'm getting into. <laughs> That was not very committed, but I'm gonna get there, I promise. So we got a ton of stuff, uh, obviously, like bulk stuff. And really that's what I use Costco for is a lot of bulk items. Like I don't use them for really like their fresh fruit or their uh, produce or vegetable or stuff like that. But for their frozen food or bulk food, it works out really well. Let's just start off with like kind of like the dry stuff, the bulk dry stuff and hopping straight in to some protein gains, we picked up uh, these protein bars right here. It's the Costco brand protein bars. Chocolate brownie is the best protein bar I have ever had. Like, I'm not kidding. I go online and just buy 20 counts of just the, the brownie one. It, they're fire. Like, definitely the best protein bar I ever had, hands down. <clears throat> and to go with them, we picked up a whopping 64 100 calorie chewy bars. If you don't know, it's just like these like little chewy bars that you used to get when you like used to play like little soccer games as a kid. Um, but they're only 100 calories and they're a good like little snack if you wanna just grab something on the go. Okay, up next, and depending on who you are, you think this is either brilliant or disgusting, I get canned tuna and canned chicken breast. Pretty much I do this because since I'm working at an office all day, I don't really have the ability to make food all the time. So I'm able to just take a meat with me and maybe like some rice or some cauliflower rice or whatever and just mix it together while I'm at work. When you do buy tuna, whatever brand it is, I just buy Costco brand because it's a little cheaper. You wanna make sure you're getting the albacore white tuna in water because sometimes they'll put in oil and it's just kind of gross and unnecessary. Um, same thing with chicken breasts. Just make sure it's like white meat chicken. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it just tastes better if it is. These are both Kirkland brand, those are Costco brand, and I really enjoy both of them. And keeping the gains train alive, we have Optimum Nutrition Whey Isolate Chocolate Protein Powder. So if you wanna buy protein from Costco, I think this is the absolute best one to get because it's whey protein isolate. So you're not having to deal with the like, kind of negative side effects of whey protein concentrate. And it's really well priced for what you get. So this was $30 for 40 servings of whey protein isolate. That's pretty solid. And something else I really like about this is this has 30 grams of protein per scoop. Most protein powders you get have like 24, 25. So you get an extra five grams per scoop in this one. All right, and now something that's like not quite gains train or like lean, but somewhat. It's Boom Chicka Pop. Obviously this is not like healthy popcorn, uh, but 
it's delicious popcorn. If you haven't had this, it's amazing. It is 70 calories per cup, but you and I both know we're not eating one cup. But if you do portion this out, it is a pretty healthy snack. All right, now one last thing that I got at Costco today that I wasn't even planning on getting, but I have been using this Nutribullet. Like, you know, just this like small one here where you put the lid on and a little thing. And it's, it's worked fine, but it's kind of loud and uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's aged well, you could say. So, I picked up the Nutribullet blender. And this thing is like an actual blender, but it also comes with the cups too. So I can kind of go both ways with it if I want. It has all the different settings that I need and it will, it'll honestly allow me to make way bigger protein shakes and honestly probably better protein shakes. And that was only $100 and buying just the one unit from Amazon was 100 bucks. So I pretty much got the two cups and all this stuff for free. Pretty solid. All right, that wraps up all the non-frozen, non-cold stuff. Now let's get into the more enjoyable things. Uh... All right, so some of this stuff is kind of self-explanatory, but I am a huge fan of buying meat from Costco, which sounds weirder than it should. But Costco's meats are really well priced and they're normally really good quality. All right, so let me show you my meat. A massive bag of just frozen chicken breasts. And the great thing about these is I'll just preheat the oven and throw like six of these on a rack and just cook them all at the same time. That way I have chicken breasts for the entire week and I have to, it only takes me 30 minutes one night. Bang an idea. Even less time consuming, Costco sells, this looks disgusting. Like when you get up on it, it doesn't look very appetizing. It's hand pulled rotisserie chicken. So they take their rotisserie chickens, hand pull all the meat off and then package it for you. So this is amazing to throw in like salads or to make like a uh, chicken salad with. There's so many different options you can use with this. It's just easy to have and throw in whatever you need. So done with the chicken, on to the fish. This is three pounds of salmon for $21. You're not gonna beat that anywhere else. And believe me, Costco salmon is some of the best salmon I've ever had. And like, just look at the size. <laughs> of this salmon filet, it's insane. So if you've never had Costco salmon, it's definitely a go. Sticking with the fish, we have some pre-wrapped mahi-mahi filets. I'm not someone who just enjoys eating chicken every day, so switching up with some filet of fish or something like that really helps out. To go along with that, you can throw in some of this. I got two packs of these shrimp right here, and they're jumbo shrimp, 20 bucks for 2.2 pounds. That's really good. And these shrimp are amazing. I like, they're honestly massive. So I kind of like chopping them up and like making them into like little shrimp salads and stuff. But, but Costco shrimp is on point. And speaking of throwing it in salads and stuff, I picked up a couple of these salad kits. These things are really good for just quick on the go, come home, either throw some pre-made chicken or the rotisserie chicken or some shrimp on top of this and you're good to go. It's like a five minute meal, it takes no time at all. So having this stuff around makes it easier to stay on your diet and hit your macros. Speaking of macros, I found these, I don't know how to pronounce the name, Emilio, Emilio Kale Mozzarella Chicken Burgers. The reason why I like these is they're pre-packaged in two burgers per piece. So I freeze this entire thing and then I just take out two burger packets at a time and each burger is 170 calories with 21 grams of protein. That's like really solid macros for a burger. So this is just another quick, easy meal that you can make. There's a lot of good finds like this in Costco and they go in and out and try different new things. So always be on the lookout and always read the back nutrition label to see how good the food really is. All right, my pride and joy in the frozen section. A big old bag of cauliflower rice. I literally put this with everything on everything. This is my Frank's Red Hot. I mean, you get the point. It's rice cauliflower, has like no taste, no calories, but it adds a lot of volume to anything that you're eating. And then just some classic mixed veg. What is it? Mixed veg. Pretty basic stuff, but when you're in a hurry, like I always seem to be, toss it in the microwave, three minutes, you're good to go. Okay, now here's something I have not tried before, but like I said, just from walking around, picking stuff up, reading the macros, this looked really healthy. So it's lemon chicken piccata, but with cauliflower rice. And pretty much there's four separate things in here. Each one is 230 calories and 21 grams of protein. So it sounds like it's gonna be pretty healthy and with pretty solid macros. 
Um, I don't know how it tastes, so like I said, I haven't had it before. I will probably drop a comment down below once I have one of these and let you guys know. If you guys have tried anything at Costco that I, ha I don't have here, drop a comment, let me know, because I know Costco's sometimes carry different things, but I always like n trying new stuff. And if you guys have something, I would love to try it out. And I think that wraps everything. Oh, actually, no, one more thing. So I know I've said this like a million times this video that I just like doing things quick and easy and as most efficient as possible. Well, sometimes dinner needs to be as efficient as possible. That's why I picked up this. So it's a pre-made street taco kit with all your tortillas, your chicken's already made, it's got some like slaw in there, your salsa, and it's just boom, ready to go. All we have to do is heat up the chicken and dinner is served. So it doesn't really get any easier than that. I will say looking at my receipt here, um, I did end up spending like $450 but I did buy the thing that was like hundred bucks and I bought like waters and cups and plates and toilet paper and paper towels and all this other stuff. But I want to stress to you that you should be buying things that are not going to go bad um, or that you can freeze because I watched some documentary on Costco a couple ways back and about 40% of everything they sell as far as like their like produce and stuff gets thrown out as in it doesn't get consumed by the person buying it. So if you guys are gonna buy that kind of stuff from Costco, make sure you're only buying enough that you and your family can eat because no one wants to waste food, right? Or just buy frozen stuff like I do. But I think that is gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. And if you guys wanna drop a comment down below, teach me something, feel free. But with that, I hope you press the thumbs up button. If you haven't, press it right now. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm dropping content all the time for you. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.